Sisters, it's Cynthia. I am back with another video today because I wanted to share with you my very first order from Diamond Art Club. So um, I know that you pay, you know, more certainly than you would from AliExpress. Um, and all the other diamond paintings I've ever done have been through AliExpress and that's totally fine, but I really, really wanted to, um, step up as far as quality goes and, uh, by watching Danielle's channel, which she is known as Stitcherista, um, here on YouTube. <laughs> but anyway, um, I've been watching her and I've been seeing her do her diamond paintings from the Diamond Art Club and uh, such pretty patterns. And um, I just fell in love with them and what she was doing. So I was able to take advantage of a 10% off uh, coupon, if you will. And I bought my first couple of kits because you know I couldn't just get one but I must say that um, I can't remember their policy as far as shipping but since I bought two of them which was slightly over $100 I did get free shipping and it shipped quickly and then they used priority mail and since it's all here in the States I got it very quickly so obviously pardon the paper. Um, obviously, it is packaged very well. As you know, when you order through AliExpress, you never know the condition it'll be in. But I bought the Elizabeth because um, I just love this style um, of gown and everything. And just, I really, really wanted to do this diamond painting. So this is the round diamonds and then some of them have the AB Sparkle. And it's 55 by 94, which will officially be my very largest diamond painting ever attempted. <laughs> but I'm up to the challenge. And my second, excuse me, my second one was the Mermaid Twins. And this is supposed to be for the... Um, astrological sign of Gemini, which is what my sign is. And again, this is the round diamonds with AB accents. And from what I've seen, um, the AB diamonds tend to be the white, but um, I won't know until I really get in here. But anyway, I'm not sure which one I'll do first. This one's 74 by 55, which is closer in size to the largest I've done. So I'm not sure which one I'm gonna start with, but if you'd like me to do uh, a painting video where I actually work on one of these, please let me know. Because if that's something you wanna see, then I can definitely make some videos where I'm working on them. Now Danielle has several videos up where she's working on Elizabeth. So if you'd like to, you could watch her doing that. Or of course, you can watch me. <laughs> I've never done one of those tags, you know, where you answer questions. Um, probably because it's difficult for me to talk and think at the same time, <laughs> which explains some of the things that I say. But anyway, um, if I can get myself coordinated, I will do that. Wow, look at all these diamonds. So pretty. And I really love the warm tones of the reds and the oranges and yellows and all of that. So um, I don't mind that this is the palette. Um, I think that's really pretty. And of course, again, if you've seen Danielle's video, you know how lovely it turns out. And I wonder, I don't know now if these are black or just dark, dark brown. These seem warmer than black. I think these are black here and these are kind of like a, a really dark brown. Anyway, we will find out. And here is, oh, 
here's a nice bag of supplies. So that's good, and I like that it's resealable. And it's a decent weight, um, so it doesn't feel like it's just gonna tear. And you get two little heart-shaped pieces of wax and a nice pin here. Then you get a three-piece, um, there it is, a three-piece tip, which is nice. So I'm just gonna go ahead and attach that. And then you also get a nice, uh, what do I wanna call that? Nice little gripper for your pen, which certainly is more comfortable for me. I tend to um, have a tight grip and so this part of my finger gets, you know, tired and everything. So having this uh, pad is good for me. And then you get a couple of baggies here that you can put some extra diamonds in. I'll probably take like the, um, this color since it has the most and probably fill these up with the extras so that they're just real easy to get to as I'm working. And then of course you have a nice little tray here with the open end, which is perfect for, you know, pouring your diamonds back into the container of your choice. So this is a great little accessory kit. Now I have not yet started collecting uh, customized pens. I could do them myself because, you know, I have so many craft supplies, I can easily do that, but I just, haven't gotten into that, thankfully. <laughs> I have enough crafty things right now to keep me occupied. So this is fully sealed. And just opens like this, which is nice because if you, if I just open it to see it, but then decide to do the Gemini one first, um, I'll be able to reseal Elizabeth in there. Oh, wow. Wow, um, in Danielle's videos and other people's videos when they talk about Diamond Art Club canvases, um, they are not kidding about the quality of the canvas. It feels like suede <laughs> on the backside. Oh my goodness. I honestly can tell you, because I've probably done about 20 different diamond paintings so far, and I have never had such crisp, crystal clear uh, printing on a canvas before. I mean, this is fabulous. The one I'm currently working on, oh my gosh, um, I hate it because it was printed very poorly and so the symbols are really hard to see and so I'm trying to finish it because it's an image that I like, um, but my God, it just is putting a terrible strain on my eyes. And this one, I can just sit down and do it right here at the table. I don't even need a light pad. I don't need anything special. I can see it perfectly. So Diamond Art Club, you have my heart. Oh my God, you know what? I may never buy an AliExpress painting again. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to say that because that's probably not accurate, but I am definitely going to save my pennies and make sure that I get as many of the Diamond Art Club images as I can afford. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put Elizabeth away. Now this was just meant to be kind of a an unboxing and a looky-loo at what I got. So I'm not going to expose the entire canvas and all that stuff, but I'm giving you a really good look. There is a small cat on my table. Nugget? Nugget? Come say hi to people. You can see his fuzz right here. Uh-huh. There's your pretty tail. Nugget, come say hi to everybody. They want to see you. That's the thing about working on my kitchen table is that there's bound to be animals on it. <laughs> and yes, I do wipe it down before we eat, so you don't have to.
to worry about sanitary issues. All right, here are the diamonds now for my Gemini pattern. So this is pretty. Again, you get plenty of um, the warmer tones here and you get some gorgeous kind of sea green colors in different shades. There's even a little bit of red, a little bit of blue. Ooh, there's a gorgeous purple. There's more blue. There's cream and then the dark, which may be black, but there's probably variations. That's another nice thing about these is that, you know, when you have colors in your pattern, you get some beautiful shades and tones within those colors. And then, of course, in here is a nice toolkit, and I can see that I've got uh, two more wax pieces. I've got um, the diamond pen. I've got the grippy in here. I've got the trays and the baggies. So it appears that everything is in here as it should be. And this canvas is lighter weight and you can feel that it's not as thick because it is smaller. Still a really good size, but smaller than the other one. So, trying to be somewhat careful, so I'm gonna reuse this bag. And again, that gorgeous uh, suede, heavyweight canvas. And of course, you can see right here that the key is again printed in rich colors, crystal clear codes, which is fabulous. And it's interesting because um, some of them are done in multicolors, like this one has a grayish green border with a red Im symbol there. This one has two colors, this one. So it's interesting how they have a little bit more elaborate. Actually, I should stop. Hopefully I haven't made anyone seasick yet. I am super sensitive to videos that move around too much, so I should be <laughs> really conscientious. <gasps> Look how pretty this is. Look at how lovely, oh my God. So there's just one of the girls, and I love her already. And I love swirls, you know, swirls. Swirls are my thing. So any kind of swirl is gonna capture my attention. She's got beautiful variation in her skin. Here's the tip of her tail coming up with her little mermaid fin. And then you get some really beautiful imagery in the center here. And then there is her beautiful twin with different hair and a different outfit. They're kind of swapped. This girl has the warm tones in her tail and the cool green hair. And this girl's got the warm hair and the cool green in her fins and tail. So gorgeous. I think I might have to start this one first because it's just too fantabulous. So um, this will be a little large to work on. Certainly I can't work on it on my desk upstairs um, because even if I literally took everything off the desk, which is never gonna happen, um, it still wouldn't fit. So. Well, it would be tight. So I think what I'll do is I'll either work on it um, here on this table or on my big six foot folding table. So just somewhere that I have some space. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the two boxes next to each other again so that you can see these two images and that was my unboxing. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed seeing these. And again, please leave a comment. Let me know if you're a member of Dark, Diamond Art Club. Let me know if you've done any, what, which ones you've done, um, all of that good stuff. So please share your information, share your stories. We all wanna read about it. <laughs> so anyway, you guys take care of yourselves and I will see you again in the next one. Bye-bye. All right, I am going to let you see what this looks like. Um, it's 
so it's going to be a little awkward. You're going to have to excuse it. Anyway, so you can see that the background is dark, but then there's a lot of color variation here. And of course, she is very colorful. You can see she has a little necklace on and her beautiful gown. Nice puffy sleeves and the bodice and then the very large detailed gown. And her little hands are clasped and she's wearing a ring right here. Anyway, it's really, really beautiful. That is gonna just look so fabulous when it is completed. So anyway, this one was definitely one that I had to get and I'm excited, I don't think it's too, too big. Um, I don't know what it would cost to frame it, but I'm not thinking about that right now. I'm just going to enjoy putting it together. So that is what Elizabeth looks like if you would like to purchase her for yourself. <laughs>